everybody, set a feast here, and I am Terry Cruz. This time, for this new season, we are about to introduce to you the WNBA on 2K Sports. It's almost as similar as the NBA, but it's the women's professional basketball teams. In between by the two that we are about to be seeing, right in between, this is season one of the WNBA on 2K Sports. First matchup as we're ready to get this thing started, we have is the Phoenix Mercury taking on against the Las Vegas Aces. For the starting lineups, we have one of the best as ever the professional, the Las Vegas Aces. But this time, we have some one of the great ones to take. We have Natasha Cloud, Diana Teresi, Rebecca Allen, Kaylee Cooper, and Brittany Griner. And on the other side, we got a great one from Las Vegas team. Chelsea Gray, Kelsey Pun, Jackie Young, and Yavel Zip, and Castro. For the Las Vegas head coach, we definitely do have one of them that the Aces have trying to be a great one to start things over. The head coach for the Las Vegas team is Becky Gammon, and that is definitely now part of it since the 31st of December in 2021. Definitely as a role model to be happening here for everybody's favorite head coach to bring at the same time. And for the Phoenix Mercury pretty head coach, we have his Nate Tibbetts. It's definitely like what the Phoenix Suns does, but this season is a championship or first. Teresa is entering in her 20th year with the team as the WNBA's all-time leading scorer. But let's hope one of our great head coaches and the team dug it all. First game, here we go. We are heading down to Las Vegas as the 2K Sporter crews are standing by for the first season. And now let's get the mission started. Enjoy the first game of the WNBA on 2K Sports. WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. And tonight, it'll be the Phoenix Mercury going up against the Las Vegas Aces. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lake Suga here with Brian Benefitini and Tim Sports. All right, let's play fantasy basketball a little here, guys. You get to start a franchise with one player. Who do you pick? I gotta go with Asia Wilson. Now she's already won multiple MVPs, got that title in 2022, and the best part, she's still improving her game. She works so hard and she never settles. You can never go wrong with Wilson, but I'm going with Brianna Stewart. She's an elite scorer, defender, long, and Stewie is the yeah, ultimate yeah, yeah. win. Her Rossi gets the bucket. Natasha Easy Cloud. basket, and at her height, six feet, it allows Cloud to see over shorter defenders. See the court well. Outside Young. Outside Plum. Young. Pass to Stokes. Over Griner. Cloud pulls it in. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space and she whips on an open jumper. And we're about one minute into the first. Now here's Allen. Jackie Young the rebound. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. Gray, no good. Such tough defense there against one of the better finishers in the game. Rossi, left side, pass to Cloud. Here's Allen. Now here's Griner. Clock at four. It's hauled in by Chelsea Gray. Well, got it in close, but credit the tight defense for forcing the miss. Defense like that, obviously the great difficulty on that shot yes. by about what? Yes. Uh, I'd say 300%? 308% maybe. Okay, I like that. Well, Brian, Chelsea Gray is the whole package and, and really a true point guard. Well, she's consistent with her scoring, and she can really move the ball around. One of the better shooters as far as percentage in the WNBA. 
but with the wingspan of over 7 feet and 3 inches, Ryder's got mad length, and she really knows how to use it. Now here's Gray, past the plunk, and that misses, that would have put them up. Out of bounds, it'll be aces. Out of bounds, aces. Just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Young, she's covered by Allen. Out to Gray. It's stolen by Natasha Cloud. And even three on three break. Pass to Tarasi. Back to Cloud. Reiner. Shot clock at five. Here's Allen. Stokes with the rebound. The ace is trailing. Here's Young. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. You sit back and enjoy the poise from Young. Maybe not the highest percentage shot with the contact, but she still sinks it. And again, Phoenix no good. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Back to Gray. Again, Las Vegas. A hard worker who is always getting better. Gray's mid-range game is pretty fine-tuned now. Loud right side. Reiner. Las Vegas for up to miss. Here's Wilson. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Stokes. Shoots over Allen. Stokes misses. The Mercury Trail. Diana Tarasi on the lane. The three-pointer off the mark. That's playing with the hands of defense right there. Yeah, she was all over that one. You're not going to sneak that shot past her. Now here's Gray. Plum. She's covered by Copper. Offensive rebound. Damn, that one's losing. Rebounds well and, and has a knack for converting offensive rebounds into points. Wilson is a I'm not called the Mercury. Well, guys, Asia Wilson continues to demonstrate why she's a top defender. The 2022 WNBA Defensive Player of the Year, Asia Wilson takes defense very seriously, and she expects her teammates to do the same. You just gotta love how she sets the tone. And something to say about this one, everybody's setting a tone here from Las Vegas of the Aces. This really needs to be what their precisive key has happened with every game. You play for in between. That's really like a, how hard it is. And yeah, I expect it right now in this one here, Terry. Every day that you have to play for, you've got a lot of concentration that you have to do for. Each superstar is turning to be on like a hard inbound. I mean, most of the uh, professional teams really wanted to stay hydrated. But thanks for the Las Vegas Aces and the WNBA Finals champ, they really are stepping things up all over and over again. Yeah, I gotta say now, the Aces are doing really well over Mercury. They're expecting to play it like that. If they wanted to do something a little bit more challenging, they had to do some a little bit of a difficult strength to get right from here. And the Mercury taking a change here. Out to Tarasi. Pass to Sutton. The Mercury with another miss. The ace is leading. For three. Gets it to go from downtown. Great lead by Wilson. The post who can move the rock. That is why you want Asia to have the ball. And here's Sutton. Three, Diana Tarasi. Rebounded by Colson. Pass the bell. Here's 
contest it. Wilson in the post. The second chance effort. And a little up that time, but it drops. An explosive first step with an accurate mid-range J. It's part of what makes Russell so hard. And the Mercury all time here. Yeah, the coaches see a lot of their shots miss the mark. They figured it'd be a good time to cross something up, maybe get an easy look. Yeah, all my coaches always had one go-to play that just keep in your back pocket, and that's probably the one that the coaches are drawing up here, trying to get their team an easy bucket out of this break. They have a lot of them in playable, but this really might be taking a lot of the great chances out there, and there might be only one to have a great option. Either bet they do, they have a lot of a profanity to get right into the eye and the cup pride. They've got a lot of them to take over it. And folks, this is the, uh, the new part of it, of the Sun of Beats that's happening here with these shorts. We are presenting you the uh, ultimate of the one of each of the short of each clips. It's the SOP short. Right in between of the little lines here, from underneath this, or, uh, the minute uh, mark, this will be all be used right in between, between the skit and then the shorts. Everything is right in between. Keep your eyes peeled for one of the shorts that are coming right near you. To have the first part online to get things started, only on Seventh Beats. Now back to the commentators. Here's Grinder, Cunningham. She's covered by Clark. Now Sutton. Rossi outside. Clock at six. Pass to Sutton. Looking to end the run. And she gets a jumper to drop. So that's a good end to a not so good possession. Here's Colson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. And here's Bell. Pass to Colson. Sutton with the rebound. And here are the Mercury. Seven point differential. That one falls. Sure, Three-pointer. Oh, no good on the buzzer. That's the end of the first quarter. Every stand of the first quarter. Vegas, eight, six. Eight, six. Eight, six. Thirteen. The Phoenix team. Stay with us as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And uh, guys, what's your take on the Aces so far? A lot of tough deep by them so far. It's been a difference maker. Nothing has gone up uncontested for the most part. And look, that's why they've had success. Here's Sutton. She is guarded by Plum. And here's Sutton. Pass to Birch. Shoots the three. Wilson pulls it down. And it's the Aces with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. I'd say you're fooling yourself if you think Wilson's afraid of a little contact. Because she'll go up against anybody. Now here's Cloud. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Count that one. This is Morgan Birch. Plum with it. Pass to Stokes. Plum. Chelsea Gray for three. Good on the triple. A new range point guard. Gray doesn't just handle the ball and pass the ball. She also hits it from deep at a crazy rate. Here's Cloud. Six to shoot. Pass 
to Sutton. Tries a three. On the down by Asia Wilson. And here's Las Vegas. They're leading by a plum. Gray with it. She's covered by Cloud. Chelsea Gray. First person. And number three all time leader. That's real here. It seems like we set a lead record for threes made, threes attempted. Do you see this trend ending anytime soon? I don't see it ending. We're the eighth middle plateau. And if you look at it, each draft class that we come in each year, it seems like every big now can shoot it. And that just wasn't the case five, six years ago. I agree. And there's certainly a trickle down effect. From a young age, even most players are practicing threes. The skills of players are matching this era. Two second commercial, we'll be right back. Now back in for the game, back to the commentators. Here's Sutton. Two minutes now played in this second quarter. On the wing, Natasha Cloud. Gray defending. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Birch. They grab their own miss. And they pick up two. What hustle from Cobra there. I love where she throws herself on the glass and keeps plays alive. Wilson outside. Pass to Young. Gray outside. Plum. Back to Gray. From downtown. That drops. These are the shots the coaching staff loves Gray taking, and, and you can see why with these results. And it's obvious where Kelsey Plum gets her athleticism. I mean, just look at her family. Yeah, her mom was a volleyball player in college, while her dad played football and baseball. Now you put all that together, and you see that Kelsey Plum has carved out her niche on the hardwood. So she gets the whistle, contact on the way up, two shots, eight personal foul, two shots. Pass on Natasha Cloud. Well, when Gray has the ball in her hands, it's just constant pressure on the defense, forces lots of fouls. This is her first trip to the line. Five for two shots. She knocks down the first one. Gotta say that, when you play it in for the moment that he has been doing it before, since he was drafted in 2014, the last thing that happened already was in Duke. She really nailed it all. I mean, gotta give her credit if you can. Playing it for one of the best is that's how it happens now. But Chelsea Gray, it's a new beginning for her. And good on the second, so she makes both. Impressive growth from year one to now. Gray's numbers blossomed once she was able to really prove herself. And yep, it's good. The Aces with the lead. Outside Young. Pass to Plum. Gray outside. Wilson. He's covered by Copper. Nice shot by Wilson. Got to move some tremendous mental toughness from Wilson. Not going to let the buck disrupt her. Cloud outside. Over Gray. Cloud can't get it to go. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Hooked away. Here's Sutton. She is guarded by Plum. Three-pointer Natasha Cloud. Score the basket. Her third after five shots. This is a big difference in her game now. The three-point shot. Cloud can hit him. She's put work in. It shows. Outside Young. Wilson. That falls. 
time for me. Yeah. Easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Pass to Birch. Here's Copper. She's guarded by Wilson. Cloud. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And it's easy to see Copper's final loss. Vegas Aces. She's a wide open shooter. She makes sure they get the ball. I'm out called the Aces. When we talk about the WNBA, this is a league that is flourishing. Absolutely, the ratings are way up, it's online way up, salaries, the estimate way up, everything going in the right direction. And the biggest reason, the product. These are incredible games with incredible players. The WNBA has really done a great job with giving fans what they want to see. In just a few moments, we will have the halftime show as we will get the same showing you what the first half recap is, right in between of the first and second period of the quarter, right in between of the alley. As we might be showing them what's going on with the hot streak tonight. It's starting off big here for Chelsea Gray and Asia Wilson on a big startup and a big chain up there. We'll be about to be seeing what goes in right on along. Yeah, I have to admit right now, dear Karen Terry, we might be doing what they have to do. A better way to have that one is pressurizing is the key. This matchup is done really well, all precisely. When they're doing it well, they're going to get this one all here, coming down straight and get right toward the target. Better effort, better matchup. Will make substitutions. Now Colson. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Pass to Bell. And we're gonna have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. the aces now. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. She's off on that one. Great D that time from Natasha Cloud. Here's Copper. Here's Griner. Falls through. She's now made two out of four. With an incredible motor, Griner plays with the attitude of someone just trying to make the team. Not the all-world superstar she is. Here's Gustafson. Bell. She's covered by Cunningham. Here's Young. Brittany Griner with a defensive effort. Tough D on the inside. Sure was. No easy access to the bucket when she's in the middle. Rossi outside. Now here's Griner. Thought she had a clear path to the hoop, but did great work on the D to cut her off. Puts up a three, and the three ball is good. Well, usually she's providing the pass. Young has to be happy to be on the receiving end of a catch and shoot. More than willing to fire. Loud outside. Pass to Griner. That one's good. And so Natasha Cloud gets the assist. Now the Aces with it. They've led by as many as 11 points. Now Colson. Clark. Good D by Kalia Copper. Phoenix trailing here. From past the arc, and again, Phoenix with the triple. Just a classic modern wing. Kalina Copper is more than capable for three-point land. Pass to Gustafson. Gets it off, and it's good. But hold on, the officials may want to take another look at it on the replay monitor. The play of the is especially under review. Before heading to the bank, bank pound pass. She's going to bring out the monitor and see if she got it off in time. Well, it'll go ahead and review if she got the shot off in time, but I'm guessing that it's going to count. Yeah, no, I, I would agree with you. There's no harm in the refs double-checking. I have to go review. 
Yeah. It counts. Yeah. Off with the pass. That's the end of the first half. Las Vegas 86, 32. At Phoenix Mercury, 26. And that concludes the first half. The Aces on top, up six. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. What's a great first half look? We've got a great basket out there to show what is going on. I have a new gear sign piece for the take of Aces. You know, they're just shooting it really well, having a hard one to take in right in between to have a great moment. Setup screens are turning to be incredible to take, but there's a lot of great baskets that are going to go over. And now for your take for the Phoenix Mercury. The Phoenix Mercury are definitely are speaking a side by side track. The grinder is still trying to survive it. It wasn't really easy enough to make that one include chainable, but she has done it before. All that happened was she was getting it a lot of the hard, intentional way to get it right through here. And I know it wasn't even easy enough to have it all down. So that does it now. Let's get right back into the game and send it over to the commentators. Over you guys. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. Chelsea Gray, just dominant in this game. She had the magic touch in terms of setting up her teammates just a pile of assists for her. Which isn't a very common occurrence for her. You know, typically she's more of a finisher, but that's just not the case in this one. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break, and we'll see if one can pull away in the third. Wild outside. Copper. Pass to Birch. Back to Copper. The shot off that time. Asia Wilson with some nice D. Now Young, now Gray, she's covered by Copper, and it's Gray missing. Now here's Allen, guarded by Young, now here's Cloud. Tarasi outside, and it's off from three-point range. The ace is leading. Pulls it in. Well, good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is. And we just saw it right there, didn't we? Without her presence, that's an easy two points. Now here's Wilson. She's got ten. Up top, Young. She's covered by Allen. And she gets it to go as they call the foul. She's on her way to the line for two points. And one of the advantages for Young, she's a bigger guard, well built to six feet. It allows her to outmuscle opponents. And Jackie Young, the first pick in the 2019 draft, averaged just six points per game as a rookie. But she used that number as fuel and motivation. Line, during the an all-star game in 2022, plus one of the time the Aces, a great example of investing in yourself. Free throw, no good. First overall pick back in the 2019 draft. Jackie Young is a gifted guard. You can really you can play her at either the one or the two. And that one drops for her. That's a heads up play right there, guys. Not just on the assist, but also on the finish. Ray outside. Takes it out to Plum. Keeps over to Rossi. Plum misses. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. Wild outside. And stolen by Angel Wilson. To the left side wing. Pulls up from the corner. And six for six. She's yet to miss from the field. Robin Dickel of Simply Monster Knights. Wilson is a true 
It's a timeout. He wants Mercury. Almost all of her damage close to the bucket. Timeout called the Mercury. <laughs> and guys, I heard that Asia Wilson got her first championship ring. What do you mean? Size for her pinky finger. Now that is against bravado. Saying you're starting on your pinky finger so you can fill up the other rings in order? You just gotta love that level of raw ambition for the star player. So as we get a great part of the game, we really are expecting to see how this is gonna happen. Hey, the unrival on a touch may not be what you're expecting to let the aces do at Asia Wilson, gotta do it all. The WNBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by Carmax, the way car buying used to be. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Sour Patch Kids. Sour Sweet Gone. Two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. And Allen gets it to go. With the size advantage as big as it was right there, that's exactly what she should do in that situation. Take it strong to the middle. Now here's Gray. She's got 12. Pass to Young. Stokes. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And here's Sutton. Rossi outside. Here's Birch. Inside. And the basket by Tarasi. Looking comfortable operating in the post. Tarasi has a great sense of when to attack from this area of the court. Now here's Gray. There's the triple. Mercury with the rebound. Third quarter of basketball here, a little under three and a half minutes gone now. Here's Sutton. Great D that time from Jackie Young. Pass to Stokes. Lays it up and banks it in. She got a little more at the rim and laid it in. I like that one. Now here's Copper. Here's Birch. Misses from short range. Here's Stokes. Yes! Great play by Chelsea Gray. This is it up. What vision from Gray, one of the top points in the league. She does not miss open teammates. Here's Birch. Stokes with the rebound. Side. A shot from the low post is good. Nice job again uh, that time to add to their lead. They're doing everything right at the moment. Yeah, you're right, Tim. It's something that any basketball fan will appreciate. It's just good, steady basketball they're playing in all aspects of the game right now. Down low. Birch misses. Wilson with it. She's got 12. To the inside, to the paint, kicks it out to Plum. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Two minutes. By Copper. Six on the shot clock. Stokes misses. Now here's Allen. Defense right on. Rossi outside. Pass to Allen. And here's Birch. Right side. Let's go. Sutton, no good. No getting around the fact that that's a shot she has to knock down. Outside, Young. To the wing on the left. Gray, left side. Sexton Blum from outside. It's rebounded by Phoenix. 
you know, you watch her, and you see her mechanics are totally out of whack right now. She's lost all feel for her shot. Yeah, it's not hard to tell. You know, just look at her numbers right now. Nothing is going down for her. Young, she's covered by Allen. Back to Gray. Plum, out to the left wing. Pass to Stokes. And she uses the glass on the layup. That is just a little nod from her teammate after the bucket. And here are the Mercury. Down by 12. Rossi outside. Allen with it. Now Merch. And she gets the second violation. She gets the second violation. Both headed play guys. So like it's still and mistakes like that are going to make it very hard for them to get out of this hole. And that's part of the reason why they're in this hole. And here's Colson. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To the middle. Here's Gustafson. And it's Brittany Griner with the rebound. Rossi outside. Pass to Birch. Back to Tarasi. Trying to get back on track. It'll count. And that's, that's the end of the third quarter. Three, three, four. Las Vegas Aces. Down double digits. 44. Difficult to overcome. He takes us ahead. They lead by 12. And we've got more in store for you right after this. And while we have the chance, let's go to our State Farm Assist of the Game. Well, she's always the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are her bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When she's running the show, she makes sweet highlight reel plays, night in and night out. And thanks again for joining us. We'll see what happens in the fourth. to Bell. Back to Gray. And here's Gustafson. She's guarded by Griner. Gustafson can't hit. Wild outside. Rossi left side. She gets it to go yeah. from the corner. She has such a quick release. It's one of the reasons Tarasi is towards the W for over a decade. Over to the wing. Gustafson, she's guarded by Griner. Here's Gray. That basket number six for her stat sheet. Six for ten. A smart player. Gray plays to her strengths and generally makes quick and precise decisions. Now here's Allen. Tarasi fires for three, and Bell pulls it down. And here are the aces now. The 12 point lead, their biggest of the game. Here's Colson. Now here's Clark. She's covered by Cunningham. And it's blocked by Rebecca Allen. Loud outside. Rossi outside. Shot clock at six. And the shot goes down. That might increase the difficult But Rossi still knocks it down. Maybe like that goes to bother. Now a timeout called by Las Vegas. Well, things change year to year in the WNBA. But you know what doesn't? Diana Taurasi's dominance. Her consistency, her longevity, it's just amazing. And her sharpness as a player has not diminished at all. Game after game, she's still knocking them down all game long. While we're waiting for a little bit, let's have a little bit of an upcoming schedule here for the WNBA regular season on 2K Sports. The next part of the game is we will be sending you right into New York City. The next game, game two, that will be happening here on the other side. 
is the Chicago Sky facing against the New York Liberty. That will be happening here for the next part of the game for next week. Then following along with the next game, we have is the Dallas Wings facing against the Seattle Storm here at the Climate Punch Arena. That will be its part of this new part of the location where the Seattle Kraken plays. Then we have this the Dream facing against the other one, the Connecticut Suns at Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. Following along with the Mystics against the Fever at the East, at the Gamebridge Fields and Lynx against Fox. That will be all here for the decided to change it up. Now back to the commentators. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Outside block. Back to Gray. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Brittany Griner. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Now here's Cloud. Pass to Griner. Expanding her range. No luck on that one. And the Aces with the ball. Mark outside. Gray outside. It's rebounded by Phoenix. Outside Cunningham. Shoots over Clark. Here's Griner, and you can count it, she'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. First personal foul. A matchup nightmare for many defenders in this league. Griner's a creative offensive talent. Well, I know I speak on behalf of everyone around this game. We are so happy to have Brittany Griner back with the Ryan 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 show yet. Absolutely, it's great to see her out there. And the league did an incredible job of raising awareness about Brittany's situation. The players, they deserve so much credit to get her home. And it's just amazing to see her out there on the floor. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. Outside plum. Gray. Chelsea Gray take contact and still complete the play. That's toughness. Now here's Cloud. Gray defending. Rossi outside. Pass to Cunningham. Five to shoot. To Rossi. It's hauled in by Chelsea Gray. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Wilson outside. Back to Gray. Clark. She's covered by Cunningham. Fades away. Gustafson gets the bucket. As intelligent as anyone in this league with the ball. Clark, I mean, she's always going to find the open teammate. Pass to Griner. Wow. That shot off. Alicia Clark with a defensive effort. Wilson outside. Up top plum. Gray. No good from outside. Now here's Tarasi. Well-timed pass and goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Time Even if it's a great for career, Tarazi still thrives because of that undeniable fire. And the Aces is all time here. After this game, we will be getting over to the post-game show as we got a great one to take in between of Chelsea Gray and H.L. Wilson. There's a lot of great chance opportunity plays between the Aces and the Mercury. And there's not a lot of things to share about this, but what do you think of how it is? I think they're playing it like they've done it here before. 
almost definitely like Sue Bird, you know, the, the one of the legendary players here that happened in the Seattle Storms. Now she becomes a head coach. She really wants to see what he can definitely do. But this team may have a hard feeling if they're going to get this one here covered up. And by that point, it might be nothing but easy mix. But you'll see how this one comes out sooner than you think. So the most game show is coming up underway soon after this game has concluded. The 223, it's a 50 41 game. Mercury drawn by nine. Gotta watch out for Brittany Griner. There might be one chance possible as an endless way to get this one score. Getting into a big one. Time for a new balance player in the game, guys. Who do you have? So Mercury making a switch here. And they can burn some clock if they want. And calm down. Get a little breather here, too. Knock loose. And that's out of it. Aces ball. Pass to Wilson. It's good for the seventh time this game. And she shot seven and Seven. Two and two. 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 Two Here's Gray. Eight for 15 with that basket, but she's not satisfied yet. Talk about a creative ball handler. Once Gray gets defenders off balance, it's over. To the paint, Reiner. Good. Coming off the assist by Kalia Copper. Well, she, for one, hasn't let them down, but a few of her teammates need to pick up the pace and pick it up fast. Now here's Gray. Pass to Wilson. Jackie Young on the wing. And she comes up with a deuce. That's just one of the bills for her. She's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. Here's Allen. outside. Shoots over club. Here's Griner. They shoot again. And it's good on the layup. Capable of scoring in bunches. Griner hits shots from various spots on the floor. Now here's Gray. She's covered by Cloud. Outside Young. Buries it from three-point range. This is a serious, game-clinching run they're on. They are just not backing off, and they're going to close this one out in style. What a surge. Give them credit They're just to, to finish this one off. Now here's cover. Here's Allen. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. How about that for response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. Turning into a three-point contest. Now here's Gray. And that's the game. Your final score. This one is Las Vegas Aces. 15 out. And Phoenix Mercury. 50. It felt like you didn't have any of the outs and they cut out on top of it. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. and this one is turned to be out terrific it is. You know, the first part of a game doesn't happen to be anybody's game, but it can be only one that can change everything for all it takes. And here's how they deal with the total statistics of the team comparison right in between of the Mercury and the Aces.
51 percentage out of our 42 percentage and 67 percentage for the free throws, three pointers, and field goals for your Las Vegas Aces. They're doing so well to keep that one coming by. And I have the ever takeover here for the Phoenix Mercury. They only had 11 fast break points with 36 points in the paint and 10 second chance points. They're doing it a lot harder than they've done. And this one was a never takeover. Seven bench points for the Las Vegas Aces. And then it was 24 assists. That was excellent for the Aces to keep on going. Only eight offensive rebounds was Mercury. And it was 26 defensive rebounds for the Las Vegas Aces. Only three steals and one block for Phoenix Mercury. I mean, not even a choice with four turnovers that have to be like that. How could this ever be like a change on switch? Well, not to really, but that might be what their take is. Keep on going. Only one team foul for Las Vegas Aces, and no dunks was never performed out there right in between. Only 12 biggest lead happened to be with Las Vegas Aces, and 1407 was Phoenix Mercury time of possession. And that should do here. Now it's time for three star players in the game of the WNBA. Your take, Terry. Okay, thank you very much. Now I actually get this thing through. It was a great one to have a first start of a first game. Well done for the Aces. They're doing so well to keep that one in here. And here's how they did. The first part of it goes out with a crazy look out there. But this one started off with Brittany Griner that had 13 points, 11 rebounds. He only made 6 out of 11 field goals. An unknown strained right elbow lagment that happened to be just what they were expecting. The elbow was kind of hurting him for a little more, but don't worry, she got it all. That is how it definitely recovers out with the amazing 6 out of 11 field goals and nothing but the 13 before its effort. Then the number two star happened to be only with Aja Wilson with 14 and the points in a row. Excellent field goal range, 12 rebounds in a game with three assists and one steal. 21 performance effort. He is on. She's on top of it tonight. Definitely doing really well for the first half and second half. But that's how you definitely do. She done it all. And your first star player in the game for the WNBA play of the night is Chelsea Gray. 20 points with 6 rebounds and 6 of 6. He only had 8 out of 15 field goals. None of the 3 pointers made her way, but only 2 3 pointers. She dug it all. The 33 performance effort was an excellent take. I gotta say, Chelsea Craig did a phenomenal job doing with her own consequence to get this game started. And it's just the beginning to get it all they've got. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this part of the game of the Las Vegas Aces against the Phoenix Mercury. If you enjoyed this one, please consider yourself by leaving the like button. And also, you can check out the other playlists as well from the season of the NBA on 2K Sports. That's all right here on the playlist at the end of the video, so you don't want to miss that one out. In the meantime, back to Duke here for the first part of the game of the WNBA on 2K Sports. Peace out folks for a while as the WNBA new season on 2K Sports will keep your eyes peeled for the next game. This is Son of Beast and Terry Crews. Thanks for watching and so long in Las Vegas. See you all for the next game. Take care folks. Until next time. Out of here. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.